So we're here at the Rocky Mountain Biological Lab near Crested Butte, Colorado on the Western Slope. Uh, I'm a uh, field botanist and pollination biologist, so I'm mostly out in the field, but I'm also the uh, curator of the herbarium here at RMBL, as well as uh, back at my home institution at Idaho State University at the Idaho Museum of Natural History. RMBL has uh, been here on the site of an old silver mining town uh, since uh, the late 1920s and uh, we have a long uh, history of uh, research in uh, plant ecology, plant pollination biology, and an integral part of that has been the collecting of specimens to document the distribution and abundance of the plants in our area, and that now serves as an important historical record of changes in our environment surrounding the lab over that almost 90-year uh, history. The herbarium collection, uh, and here at RMBL we have about 5,000 specimens uh, representing the, the vegetation in our area. Sometimes people think of that, well, it's a you know, collection of, of dead plants and don't uh, associate that with all the, uh, the field work and the laboratory work that goes into uh, finding, uh, collecting, preparing, and databasing this uh, information and so this collection is really an integral part of uh, the field work that I do here at uh, the Rocky Mountain Biological Lab and as part of that any time that I am in the field I am looking for representatives distribution of plants in this area to add to our, our knowledge of uh, where these plants occur and be able to compare that to past, uh, past records. So I'm an avid mountain climber and there's a lot of big peaks around here and that happens to be my uh, favorite environment. And so pretty much every, every week I will be you know, on a different peak in the area, uh, not only to get on top, but also to see what plants are there, collecting some specimens, bring back to the herbarium, preparing those specimens by pressing and drying them, documenting all the information that is associated with that plant and that collection. And then the specimen goes in, into the physical collection and that information then goes into the digital online database where it's available for uh, anyone to use. So the field work is really the exciting part of the of the herbarium work to me because it gets me out to see the plants in their natural environment and then the collection uh, is a way to document that uh, that record those observations that I'm that I'm making out there